Welcome back. Yes. Hello. This is Monique. I have come back to talk to you. Uh, we are going to talk about the tetrad eyes. So, I be, I am, I say, I do. Now, I want you to take a little look at this picture quickly. Now, you can see I be, I am, I say, I do. It's like a little diamond, right? Left to right is I be, I am, I say, I do. Now, it said a unified world through one's act of connection. So, think about it, you know, when you have a connection with somebody, you're closer. Actually, you both become more whole. A unified world through one's act of connection is the purpose the purpose of the tetrad eyes. And the mission is this. When you go through the system and you start taking a look at your beingness and then you take a look at your identity and how that's tied with your belief system and then what you say, you know, it can be said from your beliefs or maybe it's not. And what you do, does that demonstrate? Is that something that is in alignment with what you, what you believe? You know, it becomes evident in this when you start using this system. Oh, don't worry. It's not really scary. It's just insightful. <laughs> A unified world through one's act of connection is the, is the vision. If everybody did this, we would all be more comfortable, more in love, more prosperous. And the mission is this. When you know what you do, and it becomes to your awareness, then you do what you know. Yes, isn't that something? It really is quite something when you know what you do. Sometimes people point things out and you go, oh my goodness, I did not know that. This is the system you will get to know yourself. What is more powerful than knowing yourself intimately? Actually falling in love with yourself, really. It's actually very good because you are special. The human mind is very rigid there, honestly. You cannot accept anything that does not conform to it in the mind. The tetrad eye shows the way for the mind. It gives a pathway, you know, for the logical mind. Oh, yes, that makes sense. Okay, then. I will conform. What is complemented in this book is poetry, and that is where we bring in the heart. Let me elaborate a little bit here. In uh, the point of your beingness, I be, that is your beliefs, and your foundation, Sometimes they don't come out. They really don't get very visible until you're not busy. Mm, it's important if you would like to be healthier when uh, you're not busy, take the time out now. And uh, your identity. Mm, sometimes you might find that your identity is uh, linked uh, maybe to some beliefs that's not so true. It's not really who you are. Once you discover this, you, you discover what you know and then do what you know. 
Mm, different things come out of your mouth and different actions end up in your life and different relationships show up. Mm? There is the negative, the negative ego that drives and runs us. The negative ego we must work through first. This is where you're going to get most awareness, darling. The jet red eyes starts off with the monad, and the monad is one. Hmm. I suggest you go take a look, you know, on the internet and go study the monad. What it means is universality, all encompassing. Everything is united. That is the idea of the tetra It's is all four of those points become together. They they become one, you know, one. Then we have the dyad, which is within that, you know. And that is a description of a relationship between two points. I be and I am. What is that? And the triad is I be, I am, and I see. You can draw a little triangle there, you'll see it. And the triad is a reconciliation of two points. That is the reconciliation of I be and I am. It's really quite um, interesting, you know. Then you can reconcile those two, your beliefs and your identity, and then what you say comes out to represent that. Then, what you do, the tetrad is a group of four produced by successive division of a cell. All four points of the self are reconciled. We can work through this, you know. We must first understand the negative, the negative ego and all four points in the ego and how it actually affects us, you know. Because a divided mind is a weak mind. Remember your emotions are your drivers. They are the things that will make the difference. Emotions will come up when we go through this, you know. I'd like to just end this little introduction with a poem for you. It is it is about your journey. It is about your journey and um, I, I hope that uh, you can feel good when you hear this. Help with I do. Marry yourself on this path to a healthier lifestyle. Don't worry about the past or where you've been this last while. Just remember the trainer, that is you, holds everything in view. Paving the way for balance and renew. Only who really sees the person is the one who can be that person. Relating to experiences creates connection. Let's build together the vision or intention. Sometimes we need help to make a change, setting up the place and the needed stage. Eyes can guide from the outside to get stronger with one by your side. Combining the whole picture is the magic of a master. To help an individual work harder and get there faster. A warm heart is another great addition. Helps heal each step for a bigger rendition. Trusting the trainer for your wellness is kept whole. A commitment of passion to those it will show. It will fall into areas of your life as a surprise. Letting go of many places of relenting demise. Walk tall, my friend, and feel the difference. Self-confidence, respect, 
and finally acceptance. May you sleep well tonight, my darling, and um, hold yourself in your own arms and be easy on yourself. You are beautiful. We will see you again. Love to you all.